Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Flor. How are you today? I'm good, teacher. And you? <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna re get ready with the present continuous tense. Okay. Hello, Beatrice. How are you? Good. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, Carmina is here too. Hello, Carmina. Hola. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm good. fine. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, we're going to repeat <clears throat> this conversation, I mean, this videos so that you can, you know, somehow refresh the topic that we studied last Thursday. I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes-no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note. And never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, 
negative or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in our discussion block. Okay. This is how we ask you. Who are your parents? <clears throat> okay, these are the questions that, that I want you to practice today. Uh, are you living at home now? Okay, uh, is your sister working for the government? And are Ed and you going to college this year? <clears throat> if you see also um, some of these activities probably are not actions that you are doing in this moment. For example, in this moment, you are probably uh, sitting, you are resting, probably you are cooking and listening to me at the same time, right? But in the, a, when you say, are you working for the government? For example, if I said, Flor, are you working? Are you working for the government? No, I'm not, right? No, I'm not. Or then you can say, yes, I am. Okay, if you ask me, are you working for the government, Luis? And I said, no, I am not. Okay, no, I am not. A, are you living in San Salvador now, A, Beatriz? Are you living in San Salvador? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay. Then, for example, you can say, no. I am living in a Metapan, right? So I'm this living is my... in Metapan. Okay, that's correct. Good. And Carmina, are you cooking in this moment? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay. Then, for example, what are you doing? Then you say, what? are you doing hey, now, Carmen. Carmina? Uh, um, I am eat, eating. Okay, very good. Okay, you see, this is the action of the moment, right? So the okay. IG form is an action that happens in different moments. Okay, very good, Carmina, thank you. Flor, what are you doing in this moment? I'm watching TV. Uh -huh. uh, Hey. And watching TV. Hey. And? Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm listening. Okay, watching TV and listening to the class. Well, uh, we can say watching TV. Um, yeah, paying attention to the class. Okay, different things. Okay, that you are doing in this moment. Sometimes okay. we can do different actions, right? Different activities in one moment. For example, uh, you can say I am uh, in this moment, if you see, I am speaking, I am uh, listening to you, I am looking at you, uh, I am sitting, uh, I am uh, reading, uh, what else? I am uh, thinking, okay? So I am doing like, we, sometimes we are doing like six seven activities at the same time, right? I am looking at the computer, okay? I am, uh, for example, using the computer. Then I, uh, I am wearing a white shirt, okay? So you see there are different actions, different activities that we can express that we are doing in this moment, okay? Okay, again. In this moment, I am speaking. Uh, I am listening or waiting for your questions. I am uh, paying attention to your questions. I am, uh, a, I am looking at you. Okay, I'm looking at the computer. I am reading the examples. I am explaining. I am explaining the present continuous tense to you. I am sitting down, 
I am wearing a white shirt. And I am, uh, let me see, I am thinking, okay? So these are activities of this moment. Activities that I am doing these days, okay? For example, these days, I can say that I am uh, listening to, to, let's say, to some music uh, from the 80s and 70s and 80s in the afternoon. Okay, in the afternoons, I sit down, relax. And these days, I am listening to this kind of music to relax. In this moment, I am not listening to music, okay, to that kind of music. But I do that every day from 3.30 to 4.30, right? So I listen to music. Uh, I am working in a school, okay? I am teaching English in an academy, okay, in these days. In this moment, I am teaching English online, but in the morning I am uh, teaching in a classroom. What else? I am, um, I am driving to work every day in the morning okay if you see activities that we are doing these days okay so that you can say what are you doing this week all right so then we are going to practice a little bit with questions using are you okay like what are you doing these days right what are you doing these days I walking to my car. Okay. I am walking to my to my to my work. You said right. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? What are some other activities? I, uh, yes, I'm sir. Working in the platform. I am working on the platform. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Hey, I'm working on the platform these days. Not in this moment, but these days. Uh huh. What else? I am spending time with my family. I am spending time with my family. Good. I am okay. going to the church. Okay, good. Excellent. Um, I am cleaning my room. All right. In this moment? No. Just okay. No, that's okay. Good. Because this is what you're doing these days. So that you can say, you know, I'm cleaning. My For example, in these days, I am... Uh, I am cleaning the house too, because I want my house to be clean for Christmas, right? So I don't clean it in one day. I clean it in in one week, two weeks, okay? In some moments of the day, right? What else? Mm, I am cooking the dinner. I am cooking dinner, right? These days because uh, I don't have another person to help me okay, okay so i'm cooking dinner all right and beatrice what about you what are you doing these days mm. in the morning milk the cows oh i am then, milk i am milking milking the cows and uh -huh. then i drive into metabank city okay very good Excellent. And I'm shopping groceries for my house. Very good. Okay, so this is, you know, these are activities that, you know, I'm, I'm going shopping, I'm meeting the cows, I'm driving to Metapan City every morning. Okay, so different activities. Good. And how about you, uh, Carmina? What are some activities that you are doing during these days? Um, I am cook breakfast. Okay, I'm cooking breakfast. Um, I am cleaning my house. Cleaning the house, yes. Mm -hmm. um, eh, no sé cómo se dice para... Yo paseo a mi perro. I walk. I am walking the dog. Walking. Mm -hmm. The dog or pet? Dog. Dog. If you have a dog, you say I walk. I am walking the dog in the morning. 
Okay. Um, eso. Okay, very good. So they say, I am cooking breakfast. I am cleaning my house. I am walking the dog in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening. Good. Excellent. And what about you, Iris? What are you doing these days? Well, an, act um, an activity that you're repeating, you know? I am cooking the breakfast and okay. dinner. All right. I clean cleaning the house. Okay, good. Um, washing, washing. Wash, wash, I wash. washing the wash. washing for the clothes. I am washing the clothes. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Only. Okay, very good. So this is you know the like you know like everyday activities, right? That you have been re uh, doing these days. Okay. Brenda, how are you? How are you doing? Fine. Good. Excuse <laughs> it's no problem. You, you're late. You say, I'm, they say, I'm sorry to be late. Uh, okay. I'm sorry to be late. <laughs> to be late. No problem. Okay. Okay, Brenda. Okay. What are you yeah. doing these days? Uh, these days, um, Brenda? Uh, what are you doing again? Brenda? What are you doing? What are you doing these days? Like, for example, Weekend, Saturday, Sundays. Are you working a lot? Are you visiting friends? What are you doing? Uh, Something that is. What are those activities that you do? Uh, you know, constantly, repetitively. Uh, mm, I am busy. My brother. Visiting. Yes. Visiting. Okay. Use an ing. Visiting, visiting okay. my brother. I visiting my brother. Okay. What other activities? Uh, what? What other activities? Uh, my activity is uh, shopping. Shopping um, clean the house. Cleaning the house. Uh -huh. Clean the house and study English and watching TV and listening okay. to the music. Wow, that's good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Okay, watching TV, cleaning the house. Uh, what else you say? Going shopping. Uh -huh. uh, watching uh -huh. TV, studying and studying English. Okay, so these are the activities that you are doing almost every day, right? Repetitively. Okay, so that's why you're doing something that you are doing. Probably in this moment, you are only studying English, right? Okay. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so then if you see those are the, let's see the, let's say the activities that we do every day and that we can use the ING form, right? It said, um, I am working hard these days. Look at this one. What are you working now? Okay, I am not working. I need a job, okay? Uh, Brenda, where are you working now? Uh, where are you working? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my working is teaching. I am, okay, I am what? teaching. I am teaching. I am teaching in a school. I am teaching uh, in a university. Okay, where are, uh, you, te okay. Where are you teaching? I am teaching in the school. At the school, huh? in a school, right? I am teaching in a school. Okay, that's the what, where you are working now. Good. And then it is, where are you working now? I am not working. I am need job. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent, right? So I'm not working. I need a job. Okay, good. And you, uh, uh, Carmina, where are you working now? I am not working. Okay. 
And you don't need a job? No. no. <laughs> okay, very good. And Flor, where are you working now? I'm working in travel agency. Okay, I'm working in a travel agency. Okay, very good. And Beatriz, where are you working now? I'm not working now. Okay. Okay, I'm not working now. Or you can also say, right now, I am working at home. Okay, I'm doing some home office. Or oh, I have my own business. Okay. And then you can use these possible answers. Okay, and then you have, what is your brother doing these days? About a, another person, right? What is your brother doing these days? What is your mother doing these days? What is your father doing these days? What is your husband doing these days? Okay, or what is your uh, your sister doing these days? Okay, so an activity about a third person, All right? And then, uh, for example, Flor, what is your husband doing these days? He's hard work he's working hard working hard okay. he's, he's working, working hard okay he's very working good. hard okay yes because it's christmas time right yes. then uh, there is a lot of work and we need money okay so yes. so we have to work hard okay good so then the other one is for example who are your parents visiting this week uh, who are you visiting this week uh, this is uh, something that uh, an activity probably that you have planned that you have planned for this week for example who are you going to call tomorrow who are you calling tomorrow who are you calling tomorrow i calling my customers all right, correct, right? Well, I'm calling my customers, okay? I am calling my brothers, I am calling my mother, okay? I am calling my sister. Uh, I am not calling anybody, okay? Uh, it is who are you calling tomorrow? Oh, sorry? Who Robbie, are you? Please. Yes, sure. Who are you calling tomorrow? Who are you calling? Who are you calling tomorrow on the telephone? Are you calling uh, your I, I call my mother? Okay, good. I'm calling my mother. Okay. If you want you can be more specific too, right? And say I'm calling my my mother in the morning and I am calling my brother in the afternoon and I am calling some friends in the evening okay it's just a way to practice good thank you now uh, just let's listen to the end. parents visiting this week they're visiting my grandmother again it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes she is. No she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. Okay. Now, any questions? No questions about that? 
Okay, then we're going to continue with the same topic. But now, uh, listen to the conversation between two people talking about their families. Okay, so, but we're going to talk about the size of their families, right? For example, in using quantifiers. The family size, for example, we have uh, a small family, right? But we also have, you know, large families, right? But this is, uh, I guess, it's relative. Okay, because the family size, it depends. For some people, well, four members, it's okay. For other, for other people, it's only three. Father, mother, and one child. And one child. Uh, for other people, probably father, mother, and two children. Okay, it's okay. In other cases, there are three children, four children. So it depends. Okay, let's listen to this uh, conversation. And look at this. It says, I come from a big family. Okay, who comes from a big family in this group? I come from a big family. You know, I, I have um, four sisters. Okay. Let's see. Four sisters and one brother. Okay. So I come from a big family. Okay. Four sisters and one brother. How about you, um, Brenda? How many members in your family? For example, in my in my family there were five, six, eight. Eight members in my family. Two? Two members. Two members. Your uh, no, and your mother, your father, and uh, your your brother and you. Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me. Ya la entendí por todo el grupo familiar. Solo yes. puede caer hermanos. Uh, four. Okay, four. Four members. Four members. You, okay, you, it is how many members in your family? Sí. My family is uh, four members. Yes. Uh, my mother, my father, uh, my father, my, and my brother, I am. And you. Okay, good. You. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, it is and you. My little family, four members: my husband, my son, and my my daughter, and me. Okay, good. So you have two children. Okay. But my big family, um, eight member: my eight father, members. my mother, and and five. Uh, Five sisters. Five sisters or five siblings, okay? Good. Five siblings. Siblings is in general, right? Brothers and sisters. Okay, good. Similar to my family. And Carmina, how many members in your family? Um, five. Uh, Um, seven. Seven members. Seven members. Okay, seven members in your family. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, excellent. In your floor? Seven members too. Seven members too. Okay, good. Beatrice? I have a big family teacher. Okay. Eleven members. How many? Eleven. Eleven members. Okay, that's nice. Or no? Huh? For me, it's nice. What? For me, it's nice. Yeah. Yes, huh? to have a 
How many brothers do you have? Two brothers and two sisters. Uh, three brothers and two sisters. But I leave my grandma, my sister-in-law, and two, two child adoptive. Adopt, uh -huh. Okay. Dos niños que se son Adopt. adoptados son yes. mis hermanos adoptados. Adopted, yes, adopted. Yeah. Okay, very good. Oh, okay. Excellent. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay, so that's a big family. That's very nice. Very, very, very nice. Yes. Good. Look at this one. It has now listen to the conversation and pay attention to the uh, vocabulary, pronunciation, okay, and intonation. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcos talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Okay, listen again and answer the question at the end. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcos talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. They're great because you get... How many brothers and sisters do Meili... Okay. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? For example... Uh, what about Meili? How many brothers and sisters does she have? She only has a child. A child? Okay. What about the rest of the people? Look at the conversation and see. May Lee and Marcus. She only has a child. Oh. She says, I, I am. Uh -huh. What is I am an only child? What is I am? Excuse me? Ella es única hija. Uh huh. Then, then she has no brothers and no sisters. Because she's an only child, right? She's the only one in the family. Right? She's an only child. When you don't have brothers or sisters, you have you are an only child. Okay. And what about the what about Marcus? How many brothers and sisters does he have? Uh, three, bro three brothers and two sisters. He has, right? He has. Uh, he has mm -hmm. three brothers and two sisters. 
He has three brothers and two sisters. He has three brothers and two sisters. Good. Three brothers and two. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay, so we already know that uh, Meili... What about you, Marcos? Meili is an only child and that Marco has three brothers and two sisters. Okay, remember, brothers is only boys. Okay, um, when we talk about sisters, it's only girls. And I wrote in the, there in the chat, siblings, right? When we say siblings, it's both. Okay, siblings is both. There we are talking about boys, brothers and sisters. For example, uh, Marcos has three brothers and two sisters or Marcos has five siblings. Okay, in general. That's like general information. Okay, now you are going to use, let me check. Here, P. Okay. Now we have two, five people. Okay, now. Okay, good, now. Uh, Beatrice. Okay, we're gonna have two groups, and you are going. I sent you the the conversation uh, to the WhatsApp, and then you are going to create a similar conversation about your about you, okay, about your families.
me avís. Mm. Flor, no me <risa> ay, per... ay, perdón, Beatriz. Ay, es que casi siempre me ponen con ella. No me que bien. Ay, disculpe. Es que un No, está bien, no hay problema. Ok. Pregúnteme de nuevo. Me hace falta los lentes. <risa> ya lo voy a entrar. Ok. Who many brother existed? Do you have. Beatriz? Actually, I am a uh, four, two brothers, and three brothers and two sisters. Really? Wow. Yeah. Mm. I have big family. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Creo que sería la segunda parte. ¿Y tú? ¿Cuántos hermanos y hermanas tienes, Brenda? Uh, eh, one, uh, brother. ¿Realmente? Really? Yes. You can say, uh, I, I have one brother. Okay. Mm. Uh, yes, solo a one or other. It is, es que, somos tú. <risa> Yo estoy acostumbrada a ver mucha gente todos los días. Qué gala, eso me encantaría. Mm. Ok, so then you use, for example, uh, yeah, for example, the families, you say, for example, my family is very big. And it's very nice. Give some uh, uh, advantages, Beatrice. What are the advantages of a big family? What the meaning advantages? Uh, ventajas. What are the advantages of big oh. family? Oh, okay. Mm. Always, um, como le digo esto? I have a party every day. <laughs> okay. You have a party every day. Yes. You are for the lunch, for the breakfast, for the 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 dinner. The todo. Yeah, for <laughs> dinner, yes. And you uh, are you are never alone. No. Uh -huh. you are never always, alone. You always I, have I a don't have privacy. 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 <laughs> Okay. And you, uh, Brenda, what are the advantages of a small family? Uh, my family is super small. Yeah, but what are the advantages? What are the advantages? Uh, well, directamente ventajas. Más privacy. More privacy. Uh huh. Um, bueno, how to say pelear. Como mi hermano, somos unidos. Casi okay. no hay problema. O sea, no hay name? mucho con quién pelear, solo uh -huh. entre los dos. No argumentos. No, no, <laughs> sí, no, no llevamos bien. No uh -huh. arguments, no arguments, ¿ok? Aunque sí, Argu hay más de, uh -huh. Aunque hay más de ventajas que um, a veces la sola, eh, estar solos. Uh -huh. Ok, you are alone. Okay. Now, Beatriz, you say arguments. Argument. Arguments. Arguments is pelea de palabras, right? Ahora, the uh, puño, the puño okay. is fight. No. Okay. No, son In my house, fight. A my fight. Two brothers oh. fight every day. Okay, every day. The little ones. Mm, yeah. No. The, the antes del one. último, ¿cómo se dice? The one before the last. The one, the one before, before the last. The last. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the second. Okay. 
<laughs> yes, usually. Fight every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. how, how old is the youngest? What? How old is the youngest? Uh, one year. One year? In nine months. Okay. That's the one in the picture? Yeah. Okay. He's... And, and the other one? And the one before the last? Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay, yeah. fifteen. Yeah, in, in my, in my sister, she have uh, seventeen. She's seventeen. My brother, my okay. brother, second, thirty-four, and me, thirty-five. Thirty-four? Yeah, casi gemelos. Yes, wow, that's nice. Very close. Yeah. One year of difference. Yeah. All right, good. Menos. Yeah. Yes, huh? Just the nine months. Just the nine months. <laughs> no, <laughs> 11 months. 11 months. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, it's okay. It's good. I like big families. <laughs> no. A veces. Yeah, no, but yes, uh, there, is a, there are advantages. More presents mm. in Christmas. The, the parties are no. more. Huh? No. No. Oh. They don't give you. They, no. they don't give you a present. Oh, okay. No. Okay, good. No. But the parties are big. Yeah. Okay, from the reunion is a big party, big. right? In the Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, Very happy. Big family in the in the in the house. Night. In, Okay, good. And your mother is there too? Yeah. Okay, good. So I fine. live with my parents only. Okay. For the, moment. <laughs> For the moment. Well, but See. it happens. Okay, good. Well, mm -hmm. continue okay. continue with the practice, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yes, it is. In El Salvador, it's common have big family. Oh. <laughs> Yes, in El Salvador is common big family. Yes, it is. Very common. Yeah. But the new fam the new generations, the new generations don't, don't have children. Don't, uh -huh, don't, don't want have. don't want to have children. No. Right? Mm -hmm. Only so. with nephews and nieces. Uh -huh, exactly, yes. Or pets. Yeah. Uh, some now some people are are thinking more about pets than children. Okay, uh, there are people that they prefer to have one or two dogs, and then and not to get married, right? So I think it's, it's a new it's a new tendency in the new generation. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, you know, I think that one, two child, I mean, one child, two children, it's okay, right? Even three, three is okay, right? Okay, no, no big deal. Uh, I, I my have brother. two. You have two. Either. My brother, no, no, no more. <laughs> yes, and no more, okay. Good. My brother has four. Four, either. okay, it's good. I have four too. I have four. Really? Yes. For children, um, Please. Do, do you have um? What do you say, nietos? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Not yet. Yes, just just the just the children. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just the children. What else? What Another? brother do you have, teacher? I have four sisters. Really. Yes. Only sisters. Only sisters, no brothers. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have only four sisters and me. So we were five. So then uh, it was a large, you know, it was a big family too. With my father and my mother, seven. That, that's what I, I like it. I think it's, it's good, it's nice. It's good. Yes. Yes. Okay, but uh, the problem is, I get, it depends, right? It depends on the on the the possibilities that we have too right because sometimes you know 
then you can give them good education and food, house, everything. So it's it's not easy. You need a lot of money. Yeah, probably not a lot of money, but to be constantly working. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes I uh, work. Uh -huh. You work. Yes. Okay. You work while you work and your husband too. Yes. And the two work very hard, right? For the children too, yes. for, for the house, for the food. Yeah, I think it's... Pay the bills. Uh -huh, pay the bills. So it's, there is a lot of work. There is a lot of work to do. But uh, there, is a, there is a moment that is rewarding, right? There is a, remember that there is a moment that the children leave. And then you are alone in the house just with your husband. Okay, that's why it's always good to have. When you have a large family or a big family, probably there is always one or two, or at least one case about the ultimo, right? So then <laughs> makes more company. Okay, so that's the, it's, that's an advantage, but I mean, okay, you are, you are not alone in the house. Okay, then, uh, well, I'll give you one more minute to practice and then we go back to the main session, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. Okay, now listen for the last uh, time to this. Okay, this is important, right? That you remember the structure, the structura de la pregunta, right? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Okay, how many brothers do you have? Okay, how many sisters do you have? Okay, how many friends do you have in the United States? Okay, uh, how many cousins do you have? How many uncles do you have? How many uh, grandparents do you have? Okay, for example, in this moment, I don't have grandparents. Okay, my grandparents died. Okay, so I don't have grandparents. Uh, how many, let me see, um, nephews do you have? How many nieces do you have? Okay, so do you have, do you have, is the question with how many? Okay, in China, in these days, it's very uh, common, right, to hear that they don't want more children, right? Because it's very crowded, too many people, right? Too many people in China so they don't want more children. 
Uh, in El Salvador is different, right? In El Salvador, you know, there is no, there is no limit yet, right? You can have two, three, four, five, as many as, I don't know. No sé si cuantos quieran o cuantos se puedan mantener o cuantos aguantemos, right? But it depends. Depends on the family. Uh, then it says in China, most families have only one child. Okay. So you see that probably uh, big families sometimes are a tendency in Latin America, right? But in other countries also, in the United States, in England, there are big families, right? But it's less. In Latin America, it's more, Latin America is more, uh, more common, more common to see big families. All right, and then, okay, do you have any questions? No questions, teacher. No questions, okay. No. Then uh, practice, uh, tomorrow we're gonna practice with families, family members, remember? Brother, sister, uh, uncle, uh, we're going to talk about um, what else? Uh, uncle, sister, brother, nephew, niece, mother in law, father in law, okay, to practice and remember that vocabulary. And also uh, quantifiers, okay, tomorrow we're going to see the quantifiers. What's a quantifier? Anybody has an idea? This one's okay, but I won't play the video today because this is a different information. But you're gonna have, for example, uh, talk about all, nearly all, most, many, look, families, many families, a lot of families, some families, not many couples, a few couples. The quantifiers is when we use these words to give quantities. For example, if you say all my problems uh, come from my economy, for example. So that means that I have economical problems. All my problems come from my economical issues. Okay, then you can say, for example, all the people that I know are very nice, all the people. So you are talking about all, all the people, including every single person. Nearly all is casi, casi todos, right? Nearly all families, or nearly all, uh, let's say, uh, Salvadorian people, uh, what, uh, probably have uh, what? Nearly all Salvadorian families have two or three children. Two or three children, okay? So that means that the majority of Salvadorian families have two or three children. So tomorrow we're going to be using these quantities, okay? Expressions, okay? To speak about, for example, a uh, family members, possessions that we have, okay? So that, that's the vocabulary for tomorrow. Okay, people, so have a very good night. Eh, no se les olvide trabajar la plataforma que ya solo quedan three days. Okay. okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Vamos al Thursday, vamos a comer panes con pavo que va a preparar Iris. 
okay. y los va a repartir aquí en, virtualmente. Right. Ok, good. Ok, gracias, es una vida delicious. Ok, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.